Okay, now that you've generated lots of keywords with Longtail Pro, you can start checking the competition levels of those individual keywords within Google to see if you might be able to rank quickly for those. Now, Longtail Pro makes it very easy for you to check the competition levels using our competitor analysis. And the way to do that is really as simple as clicking on the keyword. I'm going to come through and look for the keywords that have an exact match domain available. Uh, as you can see here with the screen check mark, Longtail Pro shows me automatically that virtualkeyboardpiano.org is available. And this meets my other criteria. So now the next step is to see if I can get some free search engine traffic. So I click on that keyword, uh, keyword and it automatically comes over to the competitor analysis tab and starts pulling in all of these data points uh, for this keyword. And you can see how quickly it works. It's pulling in the site age, the page rank of all of the top 10 competitors in Google, the number of backlinks to the page, the number of total links to the domain, and within a, just a few seconds it's already done that. Uh, so some of the things to look at is whether or not root domains are ranking. If it's not a root domain, that's usually better. Um, you can look at the title competition to see if the exact keyword is within the title here. And of course, if the exact keyword is not in the title, that's a good sign for you. So you want to find a few that maybe don't have uh, the exact keyword in the title, like this one here. And then it also pulls the meta description, the meta keyword, uh, and then the page rank, the site age, the number of links to the, the domain, the number of page links uh, to the ranking page, and then finally here, the .edu links, the .gov links, uh, Yahoo directory, DMOS directory. So these are all the stats that you can use to quickly check and see if you have a good keyword on your hands. Now I'm just looking at this particular keyword quickly for example and sort of three things to kind of eyeball quickly are um, the page rank, you know how high of a page rank is it? Typically you want something, at least something that's low competition, you want two or one or zero is even better. The number of page links to the page, you know, I, some of these have over 7,000, over 5,000. Might be somewhat difficult. And then finally, you know, is it root domains? And I can see that a few of these are. And they're using the keyword in the title quite well. So this particular keyword I might skip on. So I'd come back over here to my list. And I would scroll through here and maybe find another one. You know, we've got cat uh, playing piano. Maybe I'll skip that one just since I don't know that I want to make a website on that uh, particular keyword. Um, but, you know, you can come through here. We've got pianotuningcost.org. So if I click on that one, um, you can start to look at the type of sites that are ranking as well. You know, I can already quickly see that I've got an answers.com, a buzzle.com, which is an article directory, uh, and the article directories and answer sites are typically signs that it's a little bit weaker. Um, and I can also see, as I look at the page rank, I've got a zero page rank, um, several twos, and a no page rank, so a couple of um, weaker overall. Uh, sites, whether they're authoritative or not. And then finally, the number of links to the page. So I've got, you know, some that have, uh, I've got three, four that, one, two, three, four that actually have no links to the page whatsoever. So I can quickly see that piano tuning cost is actually a fairly low competition keyword that I could quickly uh, build a niche website on targeting and uh, most likely start ranking well in Google with some minimal link building and uh, other efforts uh, to um, get that website to rank. 
So that's just the first two keywords that I clicked on there. Um, I was able to find one that looked fairly good. And of course, as I come through here, um, there's going to be other keywords that I could look at, and some that, of course, don't have the exact match domain available will be good keywords as well. But overall, I wanted to show you how to use the competitor analysis to find a low competition keyword that you might be able to rank for very quickly. Okay, now the final feature that I wanted to show of Longtail Pro is the rank checker. You can quickly and easily check where you rank in Google, Yahoo, and Bing for any particular keyword. You simply enter in your domain here that you want to check. So I'll put in longtailpro.com and see where I rank for the keyword Longtail Pro. Uh, but you can obviously enter in multiple domains at once here to check. So I'll also go ahead and put uh, google.com. Let's see where they rank for search engine. Um, and if you want to do multiple keywords, you just keep typing here. And once you've input the domains and keywords that you want to check, you hit check rank. And that will quickly go out to Google, Yahoo, and Bing and display where you rank for those individual keywords. So Google.com actually ranks number 11 uh, for the term search engine. It ranks number one for Google Images and in different spots here on Yahoo and Bing. And if uh, you decide you don't want to see a particular domain next time you open up Longtail Pro, you hit the X here and it won't check for that. Otherwise, next time you open Longtail Pro, this data will be saved here so that you can uh, see where you ranked last. You can also export the results into an Excel spreadsheet by clicking this button here. But that's the final uh, thing that I wanted to show you on Longtail Pro. Uh, so thanks for watching the video and enjoy using the software.